heavy holds are a great way to give your bench a little boost. I recommend starting with about 120% over your one rep max. It should be fairly easy. You want to get into your regular bench stance. Make sure you put your safeties up high because sometimes it's hard to hold it. Get a little lift out here and then I let it rest kind of into my shoulders. I use my legs to drive my chest up towards the bar and I'm squeezing the bar as hard as I can. The goal is to get past 10 up to 15 seconds. Here I got 13, so I'm gonna go ahead and move up weight next time since it was so close. Yep, good speed. Heavy holds are um, an exercise that we've been doing for, I don't know, 20 plus years. Uh, the idea came when a friend of ours was in um, chiropractic school and was studying uh, isometrics. And we did a lot of weight training in our basement back then. And his thought was we could apply this to lifting weights. So that's sort of where the thought process was born from. Um, we like to call them heavy holds. Some people call them isometric holds, static holds. Um, there's post-tension um, activation involved in there. But really the idea is to take out a heavy weight that you couldn't normally press, um, get into your position, and basically squeeze for 10 to 15 seconds of tightness. Um, and then re-rack it. You just do this one time. You do it right after your warm-ups, before your working sets. And um, honestly, there's several, several pluses. One is it just mentally puts you in a good frame because your sets afterwards feel super light. Also, if you're doing any sort of one rep maxes, um, just the idea of taking out that heavy weight makes you mentally more ready to do something that's way less than that, but still at your max level. Um, there's some uh, studies out there, and I'll link them down below, that show that isometric exercises increase your concentric strength. So there's that. Um, and I think with these also, there is the, um, strengthening of the stability muscles, those smaller muscles that when you come out, they kind of help you settle down, um, those little tiny muscles, especially for women, we don't use these a whole lot, um, and anything other than this. So, um, strengthening your stabilizer muscles is a plus. Also, if you're a competitor, a competitive athlete, um, it's advantageous to take a lift off for the bench press. However, sometimes you don't always get the best one. And so I have found that practicing these heavy holds helps me easily overcome a not so wonderful lift off, whether you're in the gym or in a competition. So there's a lot of pluses that come on to this one small thing that you can do that doesn't take a whole lot of energy from you or time from your workout.